Energy powers our daily lives, but producing it and using it makes up 75% of the EU's greenhouse gas emissions. Now, a Rotterdam-based cleantech company, supported by an EU investment program, is on a mission to help cut fossil fuel dependency with this, the Batalyzer. It's an electrolyzer which can store renewable energy in a battery and produce green hydrogen. Working on the energy transition uh, is something that uh, unites us all. This is the challenge of our generation that we have to fix. Invented at a Dutch university, the Batalyzer is fed by renewables like wind and solar. Once its battery is charged, energy can then be used to produce hydrogen. The system can also be instantly switched on and off to match intermittency of supply. 60% of the cost of green hydrogen comes from the electricity. What a batalyzer can do is when uh, power prices uh, are low, it produces hydrogen, but when power prices are high, uh, it can stop producing hydrogen, something that other technologies uh, cannot do, and it can also deliver the electricity back to the grid and therefore creating an additional income stream for customers. Last year, the first industrial-scale batalyzer system was installed at this Dutch power plant for field testing. The hydrogen produced is used to cool gas turbine bearings. Now, production facilities are being ramped up for commercial deployment. Industries ranging from oil refineries to mobility companies are being targeted. The energy transition needs to go fast because that is important for basically the climate change and it needs to be affordable. And I think we can do both. Here at the port of Rotterdam, the company plans to build its first large-scale factory. We need the existing companies to do the, the transition and we need new companies who fill the gaps. In the future, the energy system will be decentralized and we'll need batteries and we'll need hydrogen production. And the fact that Betalyzers combines the two of these is really a new offering in this new energy market. A finance deal's been signed with the European Investment Bank for 40 million euros for the scale-up in production. It's backed by a guarantee from the InvestEU fund. In addition, the project benefits from 2 million euros from the EU's Just Transition Fund. It's now hoped the technology developed here in the Netherlands will start rolling out from later this year. <laughs>